Welcome to Monster Quads. What I am doing for you today is installing the Race Flight Revolt board. So um, I am soldering it to the bottom. And this is my idea. Um, it's nice that they put the um, motor one, motor two in the corners, for instance, so you don't have a long way to go. So you can make really short wires if you want. Um, I don't like to cut them short, too short, because after a while you, you know, you're solder on solder. Uh, you need a little bit of extra as you do repairs, etc. So what I'm doing, and I like to keep it underneath so that none of the wires are showing when you place it down. It all goes underneath. So what I did is I turned the board over, and I like that the the pads are really. Um, really uh, not too big but not too small so I just saw them directly there and I what I'm doing is going from the inside out okay and what that allows me to do is so when when I when I twist it up you'll see at the end uh, it all tucks underneath nice so it looks like you don't see um, a bunch of wires just sitting up top like this solder so it'll look like this um, but nice twisted and this will go directly back in uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish soldering up all four motors and we'll be right back. And we're back. So here is the finished result. You can see what I'm talking about with the the way it's wired in. That You don't see the, everything just hanging up here. It's nice and neat underneath. What we have um, is check out the super clean build. Love the board so far. Super clean setup. Ready to set things up. I already set it up so I know she flies. One thing, remember, actually read this stuff, because I didn't read it, and assuming that I, I would know everything, but if you read, if you look at the schematics real carefully, you can see um, I had it hooked up wrong. Uh, this is for just a regular S bus right there, um, and then this is your spectrum. So it shows you exactly where to hook it up right here. So I had mine hooked up in the wrong spot. So that's first things first. Now, to race flight. Follow the instructions on the net. I've done this before again. I really was hoping that they would have race flight one ready because I was looking forward to flying at 32K gyro sync. So um, unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do that until they release it. Using race flight one actually unlocks 32K from what I understand. So. That being said, starting with the setup, I ended up going to ports first. Just go down the list. If you, it should already be pre-done for you. If not, just make sure that UART one um, is selected over here for serial RX. If you're using SBUS and if you're using Spectrum UART three. Select Serial RX there. Oh, one thing I did forget. The other thing that I had a problem with is that I forgot to jump the jumper on the bottom of the board. So on the bottom of the board, wherever, if this is, if you have, for instance, right here, you have the spectrum connected. On the bottom of the board next to these, there's some pins. And the pins show three volt VCC, or three pads, uh, uh, 3 volt VCC and 5 volts. So jump uh, if you need 3 volts, um, jump the 3.3 to the uh, VCC. If you need 5 volts, jump it to 5 volts. And there's a set of jumpers. One set is for the spectrum, and there's another set that is on the bottom underneath this, right next to um, where the, the serial receiver would go in. So don't forget to do that, otherwise, you're not going to have any power to your RX. Anyway, moving on, we will move along to configuration. Configuration, um, I didn't have to do much here. I left everything the same. I always ran my min throttle at 1065, and sure enough, that's their default. Uh, make sure the mix is on quad X123. Now, this is important because the mix for the revolt is um, ignore this schematic because the schematic is incorrect but it is one two three four i believe uh, and it corresponds to directly wiring each ASC to each corner 
like we showed you earlier. So um, select quad X one, two, three, four. Um, I don't use motor stop. One shot is off. Default should show multi shot on. Uh, you should flash your ESCs with multi shot. You can do that from the um, ESC programming page. And um, with uh, use PWM rate, um, don't sync the gyros. S bus inverter is on for me because I'm using um, S bus. Uh, and all, these are all the defaults H8, 32. K uh, motor PWM rate always double arm you can change that for for instance but I do like double arming it is much safer it's much nicer once you get used to it uh, and then I always change my sensor configuration it's on automatic but I set I put it to gyro only because for some reason it doesn't always sense it auto sense it all right it has other features on it that you don't want um, let's see now and Save and reboot there. PID controllers, I kept stock. All you have to do is set up your um, your rates expo and acro plus according to your liking. And that spinning of course shows the rate um, that you have set up at the extremes over here up top. So when you select those, for instance, that's, that's the roll. Um, I could take a look at, let's say, you know the pitch and see how fast is it flipping as well as the yaw rate you can see how quick your yaw is it's a kind of neat indicator that they've always had there receiver set up your receiver uh, t-a-e-r is for tyrannus um, set that up make sure you save modes set up your arm modes your arm switches um, I use pro smooth as well and there's some other ones that you can try. For instance, Brain Drain and Schizo's mode in, instead of the Pro Smooth. Motors, motors work like everybody else does. And you, you know, I calibrated my motors here, made sure they were all spinning correctly. Um, if you wanted to change directions, you can just use this page. You can change directions of all the motors, okay? And um, change the timing, frequency, DMAG, do everything from this page. Make sure you hit this props off and you can do it. And that is it. That's as simple as it can be. Um, there's LEDs I don't have set up. I've never actually tried sensors, logging, database, etc. Um, save that and go ahead and give her a wing and she flies beautiful. Uh, again, we'll do another video when we take a look at Race Flight 1. Have a great day.